pilot, Buddy Bennett. He's a member of the South Carolina Breakfast Club, a group of pilots who just love to fly almost as much as a smoker loves his cigarette. Tonight we'll find out how those pilots feed their habits when we join the South Carolina Breakfast Club on a beautiful Sunday morning flight. Now here's Inga doing some shopping. Something a lot to get up every other Sunday morning, hop in a plane and fly off to some little town just for one purpose that we'll tell you about in a minute. But there are dozens of pilots around here who do it every other Sunday morning. Tonight we'll join them. They're members of the South Carolina Breakfast Club. Tonight we'll fly off to breakfast with them. All right, buddy. boys again. Sunday morning, tired and early. The perfect time for a club meeting. Or at least that's what the men and women behind those propellers would say. They're members of a group called the South Carolina Breakfast Club. Eating breakfast has to be the least of any good reason for forming a club, but that's just what some pilots did back in 1938. And the members think it makes perfect sense. A few aviators wanted to get together and just recall an hangar talk. And they just met on Sunday mornings and, and had a breakfast so that they could talk aviation. It's a good get-together with people that are familiar with the same thing. We all have something in common, so it gives us a chance to get together and, and uh, talk about our experience. But really, guys, this is an unusual group. Well, this is a disorganized organization. There's no charter, no bylaws, and there never has been. All you have to do is uh, attend the breakfast, pay for your breakfast, and you're a lifetime member. So we estimate into the hundreds of thousands of members by this time. If you come one time, attend, pay for your breakfast, you're a lifetime member, you can't get out, you can't resign, and we can't kick you out. Sounds like my kind of club. But as you've already guessed, they don't serve breakfast until they do some flying. In fact, this morning, they're going to fly over 100 miles for bacon and eggs. It's off to Bennettsville, South Carolina. Up in the air with our pilot, Buddy Bennett. The air is smooth. It's easy to feel safe until you realize that these guys are not above playing around a bit with an unsuspecting visitor. First, a voice on the radio asks if anyone in the group has a road map. A road map at 1,500 feet in the air. And then there was the pilot who seemed lost. Is that a way to Bennettsville? I don't know. I, I can't see nothing. It's too foggy up there. You going through Camden? I'm coming up there about that way then. But which way? I gotta find some way to go here. Hold on. Hold on is right. But the pilots say it's all very safe. In fact, part of the Breakfast Club's purpose is to promote aviation safety. And we've had a very safe record, and we haven't had a fatal accident in over 40 years. The point is that people like to fly. Uh, you have to do a certain amount of flying to stay proficient. And if you're not actually actively engaged in business flying, you have to do something to stay proficient. A hundred miles doesn't take long to travel in an airplane, so breakfast was not far away. Okay, I see it. Uh, now we're on oxygen from the airport. The sky over Bennettsville begins to look like an old war movie as planes from four states begin to land. In fact, as the crowd grows, you're tempted to think that everybody and his dog is coming to breakfast. The local breakfast club members have rolled out the red carpet, and the flyers come by the dozen. The breakfast club has its share of curious characters, not the least of which are members of the Palmetto Air Force. They fly their own camouflage-colored planes with everything from insignias right down to the fake machine gun barrels. The Palmetto Air Force is a group of pilots that got together to uh, form their own little group 
Uh, we attend the Breakfast Club just as an individual does. The only difference between us and an individual is we go together as a group. Uh, it has no, uh, no particular meaning other than the fact that when we go, we just go as, as, a, as a, uh, uh, a gaggle. It's time to pile in the cars and it's off to breakfast at a local restaurant. This is a sight that would please any restaurant owner. We've got 92 tickets. The on. Breakfast Club business session is hardly a business session at all. It consists mainly of some door prizes and the awarding of a bouncing ball for the pilot who made the roughest landing. Mr. Richardson, retired colonel, supposed to be a hot fighter pilot, is bouncing him. Well, I'm certainly am glad to get him to sign that thing. The recipient gets to sign the bouncing ball and endure some good-natured ribbing. And one other special presentation given by no less than the commander of the Palmetto Air Force himself. This is your certificate. This is your cap. These two people are our newest members in the Palmetto Air Force. They're both colonels, honorary colonels. Show them the rank that they, show them the, the attention that they deserve for being that rank. Thank you so much. And that's about it. If it seems as if breakfast was very uneventful after flying 100 miles to eat it, you're right. Long before midday, the pilots are back at the airport, ready to head back home, or almost ready. We'll make arrangements for you to get back for ten dollars. But but you recognize that Hartsville power plant when you see it, won't you? Pretend that's a tip. <laughs> Wally, yeah. Get down low enough, read the darn road signs like you normally do. Well, maybe we should leave it here and just say that everybody got home safely, and in two weeks they plan to fly off to breakfast again just as they've done on alternate Sundays for over 40 years. Well, from here direct, from here to, to the VOR... Uh, being serious, 240 is uh, back. I've looked at the charge, 240 is right. All in all, a good trip. Flight back was a little bumpy, but I tell you what, there's not another group around like the South Carolina Breakfast Club. We'll be back in a minute with a look at the department.